competition. A paragraph is a short piece of a composition. Now, before we write a paragraph, there are certain things that we have to note. Or a paragraph consists of three parts. So we are going to look at them. The first part or what to look for in a paragraph is the topic sentence. The topic sentence. What is the topic sentence? It tells the reader the main idea of what the paragraph will be about. The topic sentence tells you the main idea or what the whole paragraph will be talking about. That is known as the topic sentence. Two, supporting sentence. Supporting sentence. You have to look for the supporting sentence in a paragraph. And what are the supporting sentence of a paragraph? It gives specific details about the main idea. Supporting sentences gives specific details about the main idea. So in a paragraph or in a given paragraph, first the paragraph should have a topic sentence and also a supporting idea. Sentences that will support the main idea or will talk about the main idea. Now, the supporting sentence is also the main body of the paragraph. It is the main body of the paragraph. Now, with supporting sentences, in a paragraph, we may have about three or four supporting sentences. But these supporting sentences are connected with transitions. Supporting sentences are linked with transitions or connectives such as firstly, next, also, lastly, additionally, etc. When you want to connect one supporting sentence to the other, you use transitions or connectives. More so, moreover, lastly, secondly, in addition, secondly, and a lot. All these are called connectives or transitions. You cannot write supportive sentences without linking them with transitions. So these are some of the transitions that you use in your supporting sentences. Firstly, next, also, lastly, additionally, etc. The last part of a paragraph is the concluding sentence. The concluding sentence. Let's look at what a concluding sentence is in a given paragraph. Concluding sentences summarizes the paragraph and restates the topic. You can also talk about your feelings. It restates your topic sentence or you can state your feelings for instance if you are writing about your school you can say i like my school because it is the best of all schools that would be your concluding sentence i like bangu and stew because it is very delicious i like my friend because she is so kind to me this is an example of what? A concluding sentence. So in a paragraph, we have three parts. Topic sentence, which tells the main idea of the paragraph. Supporting sentence, which gives supportive ideas to your main sentence. And also a concluding sentence, which summarizes the paragraph. Now, let's look at how to write a paragraph. To write a paragraph has a form that it takes. 
So let's look at how to write a paragraph. Now, before you write a paragraph, you have to indent. You have to indent. How do we indent? Assuming these are your lines for writing. You don't start exactly at the beginning of the line. You can use your two fingers to indent. So you start writing after your two fingers. That is paragraphing or indenting in a paragraph. After indenting, you also have to begin every sentence and proper nouns with a capital letter. In our previous lesson, we talked about capitalization. Capital letters are used to begin a sentence and also used at the beginning letter of proper nouns. So make sure in writing your paragraphs, you begin your sentences with a capital letter and also proper nouns with a capital letter. Use a period or a dot at the end of every sentence. Use a period or a dot at the end of every sentence. That means at the end of every sentence that you write, make sure you put a full stop. End every sentence with a full stop. After writing, do evaluation of the paragraph. After writing, do evaluation of the paragraph. How do we do evaluation? You look at the handwriting, capitalization, punctuation, spelling, and also the complete story in the paragraph. The complete story in the paragraph. In writing a paragraph, don't indent. Don't bullet. You don't have to bullet. That is, put dots in every sentence. There should be in the sentence form using connectives or transition. Now, let's look at an example of a paragraph here. I'm going to read this paragraph to you. Then we will look after reading the paragraph. We are going to look for the topic sentence, the supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence in this paragraph. We will also look at the collectives in this paragraph. Pay attention as I read to you. I just learned about how to boil cassava. Firstly, peel the cassava and cut them into pieces. Next, wash the cut cassava and put them in a clean saucepan. Also put in some water and add salt to taste. Lastly, make your fire and cook. Cook cassava is very delicious to eat. Good. This is a good paragraph. This paragraph has a topic sentence, supporting sentences, and a concluding sentence. And it also has connectives or transitions. I'm going to use my red marker to highlight the topic sentence. Let's look at a paragraph. What is the paragraph talking about? The paragraph is talking about how I how I learned to boil cassava. How to boil cassava is a topic sentence. We are also going to look for a supporting sentences. And I said supporting sentences are connected with transitions. So let's look out for our transitions first. So before we can know our supporting sentences. We have firstly, next, also, and lastly. Next, also, and lastly, and firstly. All these are transitions or connectives, which is connecting the supporting sentence to the other. 
So, after we, we know that these connectives connect supporting center, it means how many connectives are here? One, two, three, four. Meaning we have four supporting sentences. So, the next one is one supporting sentence is firstly, peel the cassava and cut. Then the next supporting sentence is next wash the cut cassava and put them in a clean saucepan. Then the next supporting sentence is also put in some water and add salt to taste. Then the last supporting center, which was linked, linked by last week, is make sure your fire. Make your fire and cook. So we have four supporting sentences here. One, two, three, and four. We are now going to look for our concluding sentence, which talks about our feeling. Which sentence is talking about the feeling here? Cook cassava is very delicious to eat. Cook cassava is very delicious to eat. So this is a concluding sentence. Cook cassava is very delicious to eat. So in this paragraph, we have one topic sentence. We have four supporting sentences and one concluding sentence. So kids, with this tutorial, I'm going to upload this paragraph online, download and answer the questions that follow, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll meet again in another time. Bye-bye.